Hi, I've been uh, buying some more crap off eBay again. Uh, I've got a few bits and bats to do some videos on over the next few weeks. Uh, I've got this electronic load, which I've partially assembled. Um, power supply kit. An electronic load, I'm going to look at that today. So, right, first of all, let's dick about with this. I call it. Fuck about Fridays. Uh, let's see here. Let's look. Right, right, first. This is a LM324 electronic load. It's a kit that was available on eBay, AliExpress, that, that sort of places since 2018. It seems to have been superseded with something else now, but I got this pre assembled. So the first thing I had to do was convert it to DC operation because it's designed to work off AC so I removed these diodes here and just left one in place and soldered a link from the negative terminal of the DC jack to the negative rail of the main board, main power rail. And it's like I said, for some bizarre reason that's designed to work off 12 volts AC. Um, there's some instructions, but they're in very badly translated English. So, yeah, if you need to run this on DC, you need to remove these diodes. Or don't solder them if you've got the kit. Uh, and solder a link from there to there, if you can see that. So, right. The kit can take two different types of MOSFETs. You got the TO220 type, there's also a feature for the larger type uh, as well. So, if you're using that with a heatsink, you need to put an insulator in, pad over that. What I've used is cut up an old tire in a tube, cut it to length, and stuck it down with some double sided tape to insulate the board. Uh, right, so I think what I'll do is finish off assembling this. Uh, I've got this case, which is a bit of a bodge. It's, Kit didn't come with a variable resistor for just in the volt, um, the output current, so I've kind of botched one in there. As you can see, I didn't have a nut, so I had to help them out glue it in place. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a botch, but yeah, cool. Right, so first thing to do is prepare this heat sink, which I've done earlier. Um, put that in there, so it's all the holes lined up. Right, okay. First thing to do is draw and tap this heat sink. So, it's a two and a half millimetre drill size for an M3 tap. Probably better stuff this. Oh, oh shit, put too much on there, it's put everywhere. Pain in the ass. So that looks alright. Yeah. Might put a bit of insulating tape down there just to stop that from potentially shorting on that fan connector. Hmm. Right. And figure out where which is the top and bottom of the pot. One presumes that's the middle, so let me just get this schematic. So look at the middle pin, that should go to the top of that eleven. It does. Right, that's the wiper. Uh, top part needs to go to 
22 kills just there. Ah, ah, 22. Which is 22 kills. Right, okay. okay. So that's the top, right. Okay. So that's that figured out. Now, there is some parts on the side here for connection to a voltmeter and ammeter. Uh, I haven't bought one yet, so I want to make sure this damn thing works first. Um, but, yeah, so your ammeter connects, and there's a resistor across the input there, but the ammeter you need to link that out. If you're not connecting an ammeter, you need to link, put a link between those two pads there. That's for connection to a voltmeter to measure the voltage of the load. That obviously measures the current of the load. Like I say, it's got a link wire in there at the moment. I'm going to replace that with a meter. Well, in fact, I'll put it on a bench power supply, which will tell you the load it's pulling anyway. So, but then I can use this for testing batteries. Uh, that resistor needs to come out. I don't know why that's in there. Uh, let's get this installed in the case now. Look at the schematic the negative should be there. So theory. I mean if it's obviously the wrong way around, I'll just swap the weights around on the pot. So, I think it's time to uh, test it. Right. Power it on. I really think that went through, did I? Uh, I'll turn it on. That comes on. Do we get 12 volts there? Yes, we do. No smoke, no fire. Yeah. Set the voltage of five volts, a maximum of five hundred milliamps for now. Turn on the power. Turn on the power supply. That's very expected. Ah, there we go, it's working. I just current. The power supply is going to current limit mode there, so let me turn that off. Take it to one amp. Output on, I'll adjust the uh, control on the front there uh, until it reads. Uh, it's really only in a motor turn pot on it, so it's difficult to set it accurately. Let's set it for 500 milliamps, and obviously, I don't expect it to get hot. Um, Going to be used for testing batteries, but yeah, that, um, that works a treat. Just two amps, drops a good one. Hmm, well, I'll leave that a little while and then I will get the next thing out. Well, that's been supplying five amps now for half an hour, and the heatsink doesn't even get warm. So I'm going to call that a uh, success.